What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grady and I listen to country music and whatever else I want to. And I'm bummed out today because I've been really excited for this Toby Keith single called That's Country Bro to drop and I've been thinking, man, Toby's about to troll everybody that has been talking about bro country for the last few years. And then he dropped this single this morning and it just sucked, you know? It was a bummer. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but it's literally just Toby Keith listing name after name after name after name after name. Woody Guthrie, Bob Wills, Babe Cooling, Kitty Wills. He's just name dropping all these people that have been in country music for a long time, all these country legends, and I think his heart is maybe in the right place saying, like, you gotta know something about the history of country music to talk about country music, but it's just not that cool you know i i thought it would be more of a protest song i thought it would be more substantive than just like a never-ending list of name drops but it's not and it feels really lazy and it's the latest in this long line we've got this kind of micro trend going right now of country stars that are just listing country people or listing country songs or, or trying to prove how country they are i mean this song reminds me of raised on country by Chris Young, where he's talking about all the songs he was raised on. It reminds me of a 90s country by Walker Hayes, of Ladies in the 90s by uh, Lauren Elena. And at least Toby Keats is kind of going back further. We're getting, you know, Patsy Cline name drop. Hey, Rogers, Patsy Cline. Instead of just 90s country singers like Shania. But it still just feels really, really thin. So we've got all these name dropping songs. Then we've got all these other songs that are trying to prove how country they are, whether that's Caught Up in the Country by Rodney Atkins. Which, I can't freaking stand that song. I wish Rodney Atkins would just go back to cleaning his gun. Um, or, or Keeping on Going While Going Through Hell. Somebody's Gotta Be Country by Easton Corbin. I keep Alan Jackson playing on the radio. And we've got What Makes You Country by Luke Bryan, one of the dumbest songs ever. What makes you country? Where he's just saying, you know, whatever makes you country makes you country. But then he proceeds to list all the things that make you country. And it's being a guy that's working out on the farm or being kind of a cowboy. That's what makes you country. So it's both defining what makes you country and saying what's, you know, that anything is country at the same time. So it's just a completely stupid song. Florida Georgia Line is putting out uh, Can't Say I Ain't Country, and at least that's got like a little bit of an edge to it. It's kind of responding, but man, we're really in this zone where everyone is saying, you know, how country they are. Just be proud of what makes you country. And I just want to, I'm just annoyed with it. This is just going to be a quick video where I'm saying, those aren't, like, why is everyone trying to prove their country cred? Nothing feels less cool than trying to prove your country cred constantly and i get that everyone always says on my videos you look like you'd have a lap dog and go to starbucks or whatever and you know what i'm not pretending to be a country person i like country music and i think anyone can make country music but this whole thing that we're wedded to that we got to prove how country we are and how much more we know about country than everyone else it's getting so stupid it's getting so stupid you want to make country music just make country music and people will like it we got this whole kind of neo-traditional revolution right now that's being led by luke combs and john party and now riley green swooping in there She's probably in love by now, a girl like that. they're not sitting there every single song saying i'm so country they're just making country music and people like it and that's going to be way more enduring than these sort of kind of desperate feeling attempts to say i'm country that's country, bro. You know, just do your thing. Make good country music. People are going to find it and people are going to love it. But man, Toby, if you're going to make a protest song, make a freaking protest song. Make Girl in a Country song like Maddie and Tay. Or make uh, It Keeps on Working, you know, like Aaron Lewis just put out. Do something strong, but this is just, it, it doesn't even really make sense to me. It doesn't evoke country music. It kind of feels like like arena rock this sound that Toby Keith is playing on this song, and, and it kind of reminds me of how 90s country just sounds like a pop song. If you're gonna evoke these country songs, why not make it sound like these country songs or old school? I just, this whole trend is so annoying to me and it just feels so uncool. And I, you know when you go to a stand-up comedy show and no one gets a joke and the comedian's like, um, that, that was a joke. And that makes it even less funny. You, don't, you shouldn't have to say that it's a joke. And similarly, 
I feel like all these people making country music, you don't need to say that you're making country music. Just do it. Let the art speak for itself. So, you know, I, I, I am just tired of it. I was just so sad about Toby. I wanted my bro country pushback. And instead, I just got another checklist song. And yeah, at least it's going back a little bit further, but still pretty dang lame. It does make me want to shout out a song that I heard finally. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me to check it out, but Rednecker by Hardy. My town smaller than your town and I got a bigger bug and that's on my wall. I finally checked out this song Rednecker and uh, this song's funny. This song works on an ironic level really, really well, where he is basically getting into a pissing contest with all these guys that are saying, I'm more country than you, and I'm more country than you, and everyone's trying to prove their country cred. And hello, I see that in the comments of my videos all the time. And he's saying, like, my collar's more blue than yours, and my truck's a little bigger, and I got a bigger deer on my wall, and I'm rednecker than you. I piss where I want to. And it's funny. I think it kind of works on a literal level because some people do care about that argument and about proving how country they are. But it really, really works on an ironic level where he's kind of taking the piss out of this whole argument. And right now, I'm looking at that song as my favorite one in this whole bunch of songs trying to prove their country cred because it's funny. And uh, I appreciate that. So Hardy's having a good year. He's on like every song, it seems like. He's getting co-writes right and left. So I've got my eye on him and on his music. And now after Rednecker uh, and, and seeing some of the cuts he's gotten on Florida Georgia Lines record and Morgan Wallen, you know, he clearly has a very, very clever style and he's good at playing on words. And so I'm, I just look forward to hearing more from him. But that's all. I just wanted to talk about these dumb songs like Caught Up in the Country. I hate that song. Uh, somebody's Gotta Be Country, it's fine. A lot of these are fine, but come on, just... Just be cool. Just be cool. That's all. Short video. Had to say that. Bye.